name is Gil. Um, I want to see the leading business platform that enable mobile content creators to prosper with the app economy. We support developers as they launch, monetize, and scale their apps and games by providing them solutions for app discovery, user growth, content monetization, analytics, and publishing. And recently, we were acquired by uh, Unity. Okay, so a few words on, on our uh, ad serving infrastructure. We're running solely on uh, AWS, EC2 spot instances, Kubernetes. Scala is our main programming language and also Node.js. And we have a 25 billion daily ad, re ad request, 100 terabytes of uh, data pipelines, and online and offline machine learning models processing roughly 4 billion daily events. Our performance goal is to improve performance metrics in, ad, in the ad business. Every latency, every second, millisecond is count, and we, do, we need to reduce them down. And the cost goal is like every, like every other business, try to reduce the cost while saving a, a latency and business KPI. Okay, so optimization is a journey. We didn't start with, a, with Granulate, we, start, uh, we tried to do a lot of other stuff before we end up with Granulate. We start with spot instances. And this has helped us to build a dynamic infrastructure that help us to help us to fit our uh, it help us to fit our cluster demands, our, our user demands when they, they shift them through the day. After that, we try to do a manually performance tuning for Java and Scala. Our main our main our, our main application and add uh, add algorithm ranking is a, is a Scala process that needs to be fine tuning. And can be and can be fine tuning. So we do it, we did a manual uh, manual code optimization for each for each service along the way. Uh, this process is a very can lead to cost reduction, but it's very painful and a slow process that needs a lot of human resource. We also we also try to use the graviton instances that, but when we test it, we discover that most of most of our uh, Infrastructure utilities like uh, alerting, logging, and monitoring are, uh, are architecture dependency. So we need to to maintain a lot of human of human resources about this task. Um, awesome. So basically, uh, I think what's interesting here is that uh, Iron Source is a super advanced company in terms of cost reduction. They went through basically all of their possibilities of right sizing, spot instances, manually changing their code and configuration tuning, but they kind of hit a wall. We can invest a lot of manual efforts to achieve small cost reduction uh, on your cluster. They try to find a way to do that effortlessly or with the least amount of dev teams or developer uh, time, mostly on DevOps and uh, effortless. So they utilize Granulate. Just to walk you through again, this process that they did, they started using the profiler to identify the potential gains that they might achieve with the agent. Then deployed the agent, start a learning process about a week or two per workload, then activated and saw performance benefits or cost reduction uh, on those clusters. Just to show you examples from their actual infrastructure. So on average, at about 24 different services Iron Source deployed so far, they are getting roughly 20% capacity reduction and CPU utilization reduction on each workload. Again, it's a massive company with tens of thousands of cores per workload. When I'm talking about 20%, this can mean 16,000 cores fewer on average than it's before, meaning a lot of money saved basically on those clusters. And it was achieved both on response time reduction, throughput increase per machine, and reduction of CPU. Just to show you examples from the actual benchmark process we did with Iron Source. So look at one of the service ISDS online, which is a Java-based workload. They deployed Granulate on this workload and then compared week over week, week with Granulate compared to a week without Granulate, there was a reduction of about 20% or 29% of their actual capacity on this cluster reducing from about 40,000 cores to about 31 or 30,000 cores uh, on average. Again, dramatic cost savings from a company that was already at the state of the art of optimization and cost reduction efforts. Uh, just to show you another example, again, this is compared time shift uh, of comparison with Granite, number of instances. You can see a 19% reduction of instance count, which also manifests in core count, of course, and increasing throughput per machine. You have fewer machines, and each of those machines is, of course, managing more requests just with the same amount of performance as before. So again, on this cluster, IS Bidder, a bidding service, was reduced from 8,500 8, cores to about 7,000 cores, which is implemented cost reduction, uh, basically. Just to talk about the adoption, 
after you deploy the initial workload, expanding to other workloads or other clusters on your infrastructure is super easy. We have multiple customers that started from one, then moved after a couple of months to 85 or 55 workloads. Minshu and Moving Gates from India, we have a lot more. Snapchat recently closed the deal. All of those are expanding rapidly. Our own source as well. The deal was closed about a couple of months ago. We already deployed for about 25 different services and clusters to achieve about 20%. They're also using G Profiler internally on their workloads to find inefficiencies in their code. And they get additional value continuously. We had a cluster that got 15% value. After a couple of weeks, that number was increased to about 25% because the agent continuously learned the cluster and provide more and more value. So again, just to summarize, uh, if you think this is relevant for you, the first step will be to deploy the profiler on a workload to get the potential gains. Then deploying the agent, get the full optimization process, and maybe using GMaestro as well to reduce capacity. But when I try to summarize this session, is that Iron Source was a very advanced company, one of the largest ad tech companies in the world, very advanced in their cost efficient and cost optimization efforts. And they hit a wall of uh, saturation. It was not cost efficient for them to invest more manual re uh, uh, efforts to reduce costs. So they used Granulate with very low efforts, about 10, 20 days of learning without any development or uh, development time to achieve 20, 30% reduction in capacity uh, overall. Any questions? Things that you're interested in, the technology, what I talked about, feel free. I know it's a photograph, but feel free regardless. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Yeah. The profiling is simply for estimating the potential. It does not provide any value. The profiler is a passive tool. The agent itself allows you to reallocate resources at the OS level. So as I mentioned, you can hook the agent hooks onto thread level scheduling, for example. It learns the consumption of thread patterns, how much each thread consume resources, and what is the time it took it to complete its function. And then we can, for example, the agent can reprioritize mutex lock allocation or memory allocation per process to reduce bottlenecks and reduce consumption of resources. So based on that reallocation, you are running the same application with 20% fewer CPU utilization. And that achieve for you capacity reduction because iron source, for example, is auto scaling based on CPU. Uh, even if they're not, we can provide to them recommendations to reduce capacity. Yeah. Other questions? Sorry? Yes. What kind of? It, it does not impact in terms of functionality. It will just find the best pattern to complete a similar function. It just pattern that already was seen on the cluster with the least amount of consumed resources, but it does not change the pattern in terms of, let's say, starvation. I'm taking from one thread, giving to another thread, just because it's efficient for me to do it right now. We're looking at the pattern that worked on this cluster that showed the functionality to work, but he's consuming less resources over, over time. You know, if, if the thread has a memory leak in it, what happens? Then over time, your memory will increase, but I assume that with Granulate, you will be increasing much fewer every second, let's say, it will take you longer to reach out of memories, for example, and your basic level of CPU utilization will reduce, allowing you to choose more memory bound instance types. Let's say you're moving to, uh, from C types to N types or R, you can squeeze out more out of your memory leak threads, for example, but it does not solve memory leaks in threads. It just allows you to squeeze out more even if you do have that memory leak. Awesome. Thank you very much.